Good God, Jackie Shepard, what have you done? Feels like ten tons of lead in my skull. I was in a tight spot. I was still half drowned in the sauce with a noggin full of rocks. I found the best way out of a helpless situation is to help someone else. Shepard Investigations, Jackie Shepard speaking. I need to report a kidnapping. Lucky break. My baby was stolen. Description? Gray hair, brown eyes, about two and a half feet tall, 65 pounds, loves to slobber. Pardon? It's my dog, Pebbles. You lose a puppy, you call the pound. Sir, I'm a private investigator, not a dog catcher. I'm willing to pay you $10,000. And what's that address? You must be the private investigator. Coming in. Father will be down in a minute. He's pulling himself together. Sounds like he's pulling himself apart. So, do you think Pebbles will be found? I'm no animal control, but for 10,000 bones, I'll make sure your pooch comes back safe. You've got to help me find my Pebbles. That thing was expensive and like an only child to me. But what about Mercedes? My stepdaughter. She's home from school. Can't wait until fall. Back to the case. Yes, I had taken it to its weekly grooming appointment. And when I went back to my car, Found this. The moment I heard a pet was involved in this case, I knew my old pal Francis Denny was somehow mixed up with this caper. If there was a dirty dollar to be made with dogs, Denny's pet salon was going to be at the center of the mess. Francis was a real lowlife, a weed among the roses. They moved merchandise in and out of the place while laundering more than just pets. Hey, Francis. What's buzzing, cousin? What are you doing here, Shepard? I told you not to come snooping around here anymore. No worries. It ain't snooping if I got a pet that needs a wash. It looks like you've got yourself an appointment. What can I do for you? I'm looking for the straight dope on a pup named Pebbles. Seems someone swapped the pooch for a ransom note. Hmm. Pebbles, you say? Hmm, Pebbles. Looks like Sloan came and picked him up last week. That's the only information I have. Of course she did. Now get out of here. Scram. Get to your own business. But at least now everything was adding up like the roll of crooked dice. If Charlie Sloan picked up his dog with that much ransom money in play, something hinky was happening. And I was feeling like the last drops in a whiskey bottle headed for the teeth of a drunk. I was hemmed in at the seams and I was needing some help before the other boot dropped. Shepard Investigations, Jackie Shepard speaking. Ah. I knew it'd be you on the other end of this tin can. Yes. Yup. Uh-huh. Yes. Sounds like your plan is solid as a rock. Solid as the rock of Gibraltar, that's for sure. It was a no-win situation, but sometimes you have to lose some before you lose yourself. 
We got the ransom call. Now I need that bag of clams before your little pebbles gets baked. Do whatever it takes. That bitch is my property. Where is my damn dog? Where is the money? I was set up. Ten guys, all hard-boiled brick makers. Ten to one is never good odds. Took the money and left me in the gutter like yesterday's newspaper. Got real roughed up. Where is the damn dog? Where's my money? That's how it was supposed to go down. Pay the ransom, get the dog back. Any regular schmuck could do that. But Jackie Shepard is no dime store knucklehead. You didn't need to be a detective to know that was no place for a dog. That was a prison, and Charlie Sloan was the warden. Add in the hatred hot enough to charbroil a steak between Mr. Sloan and his stepdaughter, and you have the perfect crime committed for all the right reasons. One simple dog napping would spare a pup from undeserved punishment while poking the eye of an angry patriarch Throw in a wad of cash that could choke a horse on top of this whole caboodle. And Mercedes and I were in cahoots after that phone call. Ah, I knew it'd be you on the other end of this tin can. Then all we had to do was get me roughed up, and one convincing fat lip later, the ransom money, the dog, and the girl were all in the wind. At the end of the day, I was left with a poor customer comment card and just enough money to stock my liquor shelf. You know what they say, every dog has its day. <laughs>